Tēnā tātou kātou e te iwi, nau mai, hoki mai, ki tēnei whakapāhotanga o te whakataitai pāwhutu pāro o ngā kura tuarua o Aotearoa. He kēmu o ngā wahine nai anei o Hobsonville Point Secondary School ki a Trident High School. The team's looking like having some very good strike players coming in here. We've got Trident coming in as uh, a girls team this year which have previously been mixed in boys as well as girls since 2012 with their most successful team being a boys team we also have against them Hobsonville Point Secondary School um, attending um, with a mixed team for their second time um, from 2019 and we have a few players to look out for in the both of these sides um, our second women's game of the day Maya, what are we looking to see out here? Yeah, hopefully more of the same than the first one that we've seen. And, and even though it was a pretty one-sided affair, it was just some quality touch, particularly from our Westlake girls. But it was just the, that effort and that um, real teamwork from Nataata that I really liked. And I have no doubt that this will be quite a similar game. Uh, like you say, tried it generally in the mix. But here in the, the uh, female grades, it's great to see them. Before we get on to the teams, though, we see those... Those three people out there in that gorgeous uniform, which is the referee uniform. <coughs> we have Charlene Bannister, Plumridge. Um, most people probably know her for her touch feats. Um, she was carving the Aussies up when you were probably not even born, no, which absolutely. is ironic when she still looks 23 right now. So it's great to see her in the referee ranks, and she's absolutely shot to the to the moon in terms of from when she started really, really recently, not too many years ago. And now she's one of the top females, not only in New Zealand, but in the world. She's also joined uh, by Tim Lucas and Jimmy Wang as we see the first of our teams, which is Hobsonville Point Secondary School again. Not a team that um, seen too much on our live streams in the past, so it's great to have them there. And uh, some awesome players in there looking out for Turnbull, uh, Sugalape, Evan, Strang, Lynch. And uh, there's actually both Lynch uh, pairings there, to real players to look out for. And they're coached by Tome Chan Chui. Yeah, no, absolutely, and, and moving across to our uh, Trident High School team here, uh, won both their first two games, 9-2 um, and 5-4, so one close one and one quite easy one there. Uh, we see the team list coming up uh, with players to look out for, Collier, Terini, Bryce and Matchett, uh, coached by Mike Te Kurapa. Uh, funny story, actually, Mike was my New Zealand under-15 tour manager, which um, he did an absolutely amazing job. What an amazing fella he is. Uh, shout out to you, Mike. Uh, tēnā koe, brother. <laughs> great to have Mike here. Definitely the man. Been around for a long time. Um, great for the development of touch in this country. Just a real legend, a real giver. And good to see him out here. And I'm sure the Trident girls are on because of him. We see here Hobson, Hobson Full Point uh, High School going to be starting us off in the first half of our fifth live stream game here on day one of the 2023 Bunnings Secondary School Touch National Championship. Waiting for the hooter, and there it is. Charlene Bannister sets us off straight down the middle for Hobsonville Point. Taina Kore working in here with Gallagher. Oh, Gallagher sneaks through. With, was that a try? Oh, she's been sneaky there. Yeah. She's trying to make the ref think <laughs> that was Keep them on their toes was uh, Macy Gallagher there. Tana Kuri now with the ball. Setting things up. Thought she was going to get a quickie. Come back too late. Good good set of defence there from Trident. First up there, Sean. Yeah, good signs early on. I think they uh, got great connections there. Also good attack there um, coming out of the Hobson Bull team. Very promising signs with the, the the scoop and the chop. Unfortunately, not finding the right option there, but very good nonetheless. Such a key skill that we see near that extra pass when we when you see the defensive team sending one person up. If you can just check that pass, just out one, you can get in behind them, get another 10 metres, which we've seen Trident, which has put them in this really, really good position as they're now heading in for a 33 scoop. Gets the ball back, goes to our left. Two on one. 
I'm not so sure if that was intentional, but it was really good defence from the winger, just being in a space where <laughs> they couldn't create an overlap on her. No, it was for sure. Great attack there by Trident. Again, as we've seen throughout the day, finishing towards their sub box, forcing Hobsonville point secondary school to have to work across the field all the way to their sub box. As we see them getting a little bit caught up here in the middle of the field, Trident doing a very good job of pressing them, putting on a lot of pressure as we see their subs coming on, having to loop quite deep into their own half. We see the referee that's just come on here, Tim Lucas, ironically. My first ever Nationals was here in Rotorua in 1998. Yep, I know. I must have started when I was one. <laughs> um, and he was my team leader, and what an incredible experience that was awesome. to have him as my first leader. Definitely one of the best in my mind referees ever to ref in New Zealand. Um, so it's great to see him still refing. Um, I think he's a DP of a school as well, so he'll be used to... Uh, <laughs> Telling these young young people what to do. Tried it. Hot on attack. Be interesting to see who takes the lead here from the Trident side as they come closer to the seven metre line. Hopefully, looking to put first points on the board. So we see a cookie play in the middle there. Give back. Oh, great D. Fifth yeah. touch. Good defence there from number eleven Stella Lynch on Hobson full point. Shut that down nice and early. As we see here on the six, looking for the long boy out to the wing, trying to catch them. Napping, but again, great defense there from Jay Jacobs. <clears throat> Tell you one thing surprising when I was looking at the um, team list, as you said in one of the earlier games, you're allowed 16 in a squad and 14 can play each game. Well, neither of these teams have 16 players. Um, Hobsonville Point have 14 and Trident have 13, so they're there. Good, they don't even need <laughs> subs. No, it'll be interesting to see how their legs hold up here because obviously taking the full advantage of 14 players is quite critical come the later end of the tournament as well as the later end of each game. Um, but as we see Trident, reinforcements coming on here as number three, Collier and Matchett. Yeah, Collier's definitely a name I can remember saying a bit last year, if I'm correct. Really, really sharp. Worked in well. As you see here, get a quickie. Go, get on the outside. I don't want to say I called it, but I called it. No, you absolutely did there, as we saw Collier just taking a 33 quickie in the middle, getting the ball straight back. The time seemed like it was endless with the ball in hand as she almost walked over for a try there. A great start to the first half there for Collier with the first points on the board. 1-0, tried it. Hobson Vult. Do you want him to hit back? As we see them here, tap off. Tim Lucas gives us the go-ahead. Straight down the middle again. Looks very similar to their first set of the game. Unfortunately, couldn't quite finish that one. Try it back on attack. It'd be interesting to see how Trident make the most of this turnover being probably uh, three quarters of the way down the field from their try line as we see them working in with new substitutes coming on. Hoping to try find that seven around the touch five mark so they can get a bit of a power scoop going through to finish the set off. See some evasion there from Collier. A scoop set up, a great platform. Throw into the end goal. Can she find someone? Well defended there by Megan Wiggle of Hobson Point Secondary School. How did she not stand on the dead ball line? No, <laughs> very well done. Good D though, Hobsonville Point. Tina Cordette brings it out. Good start to the set. Gallagher. Here we see her just checking off, trying to get that extra. We see the numbers coming on deep here from Hobsonville. Looking to get a power scoop from halfway. Quick out of the blocks. A great covering touch there. You could just tell that that was on. She was setting that up the one before, and then you see that she sort of had this grimace slash grim on her face, and she was like, give me the ball, I'm out of here. So really good work there from the number seven from Hobsonville Point. No, absolutely. You can tell that she could see that picture coming in early, and we'll be looking to see her hopefully take advantage of a few more opportunities coming through with that same power and the speed and the scoop there. Up here. Takes the fourth, setting things up. Bryce... Takes it down, up here on the ball. Scoops through, gets a gap, looks off for Bryce. Did she get it down? Referee Tim Lucas said she sure did. Wow, what great awareness there from Bryce. Just to know that the, the touchline was so close and all she had to do was slow her foot speed down and get the ball down straight away. A great finish there and a great scoop to match it. As we see Bryce, nice strong drive, splits left. Hapia chases the defender that just touched her. She turns her shoulders back in towards her and made it easy for Bryce to dot down. 
Yeah, no, a great scoop line there from uh, Hapi going straight at the defender. The defend other defender cornered straight away, and we were lucky to have a gap open up and a try. Quantum full point. Seem to stick to this very similar structure each time. But a guess here. Couldn't quite get on the outside. Great defense from Terini. She too was a name actually that popped up a lot last year in terms of her her performance. Very, very good player is Terini. Nice scoop. Gets through. Links up. That's a really, really good try from there. It was great work there from Macy Gallagher. Just seen her get through into that gap. Faked off the pass. Got in behind and looked for her, her link play. Didn't pass too early. Waited till she had some space on the defender and, and dots down here. We'll see it in the replay. We see her getting through, throws that pass, throws the defender off, links back up with number 12. Tana Kore for a beautiful try, gets Hobson Ball Point Secondary School back into the game. 2-1, tried it. Yeah, no, a great try there coming off the back of a great set as well. Uh, one point in it, hoping to equal up the score. I would say Hobson Ball would like to do this set out and come off the back with another great turnover as we see a nice... Play coming off the side here and a great touch made by Evans on the wing from Hobsonville. Yeah, great touch there from Falcon Evans. Good work. Read that really, really nicely. Again, just that winger's job on defense so hard, but we see Collier here. Steps off her left. Another try assist there from Collier. <laughs> Again, time with ball in hand was all it took. A bit of footwork, held the ball up nicely. The defenders bit and chased in, and the hole just opened up. A little bit of a high pass, but well caught and well put down. Kobe is a, she's an anomaly. I've seen her run off after each time she set up a try, and, and it's like she's not at the national. She's just chilling, playing a game of touch, probably at the backfields of the, of the school there. Um, she's just really, really enjoying herself and making it look easy. Yeah, no, and a, a great setup there, and I'm sure we'll see many more to come as we see Hobson Ball coming down with a great play in the middle, middle. Oh, what do we have there? Penalty, is it? Mm, touch and pass called there, I think, unfortunately. It's good to see Michaela on the ball again. She's she's the attacker for this uh, Hobsonville point team so far in this first half. I look at the way she held that ball up, got it out to the winger. Unfortunately, it was touch and pass. Good yards down the sideline here from the Trident team. Yeah, and as you spoke about earlier, Maya, was just that simple check off coming through the yards. Um, getting that little bit of extra meterage just in behind the defender makes a world of difference as we see them driving in hard here. Touch five is going to be just off the seven. Quick give back. Well defended there by Hobson Ball. They looked really, really sharp. I like the flow of that attack from Trident with Tereni not being able to quite finish there, but it looked really, really sharp. So obviously there's great defense from Hobson Ball Point to Rappel, which looked like really good attack. Beautiful. No, absolutely. Yeah, look at that. Coming out of their half. Nice clean exit, great hands to ensure that they don't get a turnover deep in their half as we come in close to half time. Five minutes going to come in this half as we see Hobson Ball coming up to halfway, hoping to add another point onto that scoreboard and a touch made. Touch and pass the call. Yeah, unfortunately, <clears throat> like, um, like Michaela, number eight, Macy Gallagher, she's, she's another one of the attacking presence in this Hobson Full Point team, setting up the first try that they got, and nearly getting through there. Got a real good turn of foot. Nice vision there from Tarini. Seen the defender had her back turned and went into that space as Collier's back on. Here she is, just nonchalantly going about her business, seeing what's a real eyes-up type player that sort of maybe not so premeditated, but sees what the defense gives her, and then takes every ounce of it and makes one of her teammates look good by scoring easy tries like that. Oh, absolutely. Now, I was going to say, if we were to see anything coming here, I would say the ball would be in her hands, particularly from that dummy half position. Again, going straight at the defender, outside step, that short side defender coming in a little bit too tight, and that link running a great support line on the right edge there to score another point. The score goes out to 4-1. How do you shut a player down like that that's been so dominant in the first half? Again, a, a very hard defender to... to um, Oh, attacker, sorry, to defend in situations especially like that when you're so close to the line and the dummy half can just get out of out of the ruck so quickly. You've just got to try back your open side defense. Being the toucher, you've got to pull your corner as quickly and as efficiently as you can and just trust that the rest of your team has got their back. And especially in this grade, we just want to try force the long ball. And 
sometimes, as we see here, another great try from Hobsonville. Mind me, oh, what a great try. Scoop into the end goal and a great finish. Found a free player. Stella Lynch and, and Nina, I think it was, joining up there for this awesome second try for Hobsonville point. As we've seen there, Stella peeking her way through, passes it off and a beautiful try down there. Yes, done very well. 2-4, perfect time to hit back. Three minutes in this half. Good set of D here. Go down and hit back again. Go into the half 4-3 and I'm sure... Hobsonville point would be good with that, although I have no doubt that this lady with the ball in her hand will be wanting to do something about it. Trini, nice strong drive. Off the Tuari Hape, Trini again. It'll be interesting to see who comes out as the main striker here for Trident, as we see the ball played in the middle for touch five, given back straight to the splitter, a nice long ball, well defended there by Jade Jacobs out on the right wing for Hobsonville. Yeah, Tarini probably just gave that ball a little bit too quickly, probably could have ran a little bit further and drew one of the defenders, created space for outside players, but again, great defence from Hobsonville point. And going back to what we spoke about earlier about the defence, that's probably the look that they want going forward, um, making sure that we can just force that pass and we might see errors come from it. It also gives us that time to chase out for a big long pass. We see Trident hot on attack here after the error caused. Happy like, to take the touch. And like you said, defence isn't an individual's game. It's, it's a team game, right? Just one person's destroying you. It's not one person's responsibility to stop that. So trusting in your teammates, as you said, is definitely the key. And a great pull out from the touch there. Just enough to offset the ruck and a bit of an error there. Are you allowed to do that? I don't know if you're allowed <laughs> to do that, but I think it was a little bit of a tactical decision there that the refs have missed. Unfortunately, they've seen that one. And we have another penalty blown on the far side. Into the last two minutes of this first half. These 15 minutes games just race by. Oh, don't, don't they just? <laughs> especially at the speed that we've seen today. A great caliber as we see our next attacking set for Trident coming onto the field. I'm sure we've got some of our big names coming back on as the ball goes back into the hands of Collier. Here she is. Time slows down. She gets the ball, gets it on the outside, checks her options. They realise the link could have scored, but the winger definitely will. And again, just making someone else look famous. Great catch there from the winger. 15 metre pass, not easy thing to do. Number five from Trident. Winter Meritor. Beautiful pass there from Collier. Right on a platter. As you just see her here, getting the quickie. Going to her left side. Right to left pass. Beautiful try. Mm -hmm. Trident out to a three-point lead. 5-2 for the minute to go. Yeah, and we talked about how we're going to be able to defend her coming out of out of the half, and then she's getting the ball back just like that. She's just an attacking threat all round. Quite a handful for this Hobsonville team to, to, to hang on to. Really hoping Hobsonville can get across here. As we see the number seven, one of the key attackers, Michaela, working in cahoots. Did she get in? Oh, unlucky. Working in cahoots here with Stella Lynch. Good opportunity. Didn't quite get across. Great defence. Tried it now. 34 seconds. They should be able to get through this whole set. As we see, Collier taking the third touch to her box. Got some troops on. Fourth now. They want to centre things, probably for a power scoop. Hopefully I can count. I think this is the fifth coming up. Looks like it by that setup. No, I can't count, Sean. <laughs> no wonder I stopped riffing. Fifth here. What have we got as the number seven from Trident? Come short side. So draw and pass. Oh, wow. Unfortunately, didn't quite trust the inside. The winger from Trident, I think it's the number five again. Winter Meritor held her space and goes in for a beautiful try. Yeah, as we see in the Bunnings replay here, we just see a jet out of the half. Options were not fruitful to start off with, but then it just opened up on the wing there for a great finish as Trident take another try going into the half. And there we have it, half-time score. Six for Trident and two for Hobsonville Point. Great first half. Score probably doesn't reflect it. Awesome work. Looking forward to having you back in the second half.
Christmas ready with our lowest prices. This is the perfect time to set up for Christmas. Lighting can really help make those really special moments. Decorations just to make things look ready. You want to make sure that everything's right. We can help you make it a Christmas to remember. Get the turkey on the Smoker Barbecue, $199. Relax on this timber bench set, $299. Be sun safe with a 2.5 metre market umbrella, $59. When you find a competitor's lower price on the same stock item, we'll beat it by 15%. Lowest prices are just the beginning. This isn't about cameras. It's about getting a better shot. So you can get a better result. A great photo of your property is more important than a picture of our agent. Sport is about more than just the game. It's about going from teammates to best mates. It's the high fives and helping hands. It's learning when to back yourself or back your buddies. It's actually being excited to get out of bed early on a Saturday. Sport is about more than just the game. That's why Caltex is proud to help fuel school sports. Kia ora te iwi, no mai hooky mai to what has been an incredible first half of our fifth live stream game today. They've gone so quickly, they've been so awesome. I've lost count as you heard me in the last set of that game, uh, touch in the, in the first half. Trident had some superstars in the Trident team, being very, very dominant. But to be honest, the whole team across the board being great defenders, good in the transition phase. And then when Collier gets her hands on the ball, she's almost game over. And for Hobson's, Hobson full point, definitely seen some key attacking come out of Macy Gallagher and also Michaela, the number seven. So I'm sure those two um, will be really keen to get the ball, their ball, hands on the ball as much as they can in the second half to chew into this lead that Trotters have at 6-2 as they tap us off for the second half. Sean. Yeah, no, absolutely. I think both teams will come out again uh, with the same energy that we've seen all day long as we see the ball coming through the middle here with a great play. Well defended there. Uh, by Gallagher. She's doing it at both ends of the field at the moment and I'm sure we'll see some more attacking threat come from her at the later end of this half. Oh, good. Great little trick play there that they come out to. Unfortunately couldn't quite be accurate. Collier just a little bit in front of the dummy half. Forward pass. Good pick up from the ref. Much better set here in the first set for Hobson full point. Good direction from the number eight. Macy Gallagher, real leader of this Hob Hobson full point team. As we see Stella Lynch with the ball. Strong driver. There she is, the fleet-footed <laughs> speedster. And we saw that in the first half, didn't we, there from Suluapi. A very strong and powerful scoop from the half. Uh, unfortunately not able to get through there, but we see the yards coming um, from Trident. Pretty relentless coming through this close sub box, aren't they, Maya? Yeah, definitely. Just You turn the ball over and they're straight down your throat. As we see, Tarini now with the ball. Looks like a bit of a bounce, got away with it. Tanini working in here with Hunia. Hunia with the ball, going short side. No, looks like go under. That's the problem when later in the day the grass gets dry. Yeah, no, you absolutely. you can't slide the ball across. Sometimes the rain comes into play, or at least the early morning games anyway. But um, as we see there, the ball just sticking to the ground a little bit. And the ball to ground is the call as we see Hobson Ball coming out of their own half. The reinforcements coming in numbers as they take their fourth touch, I believe, in the center of the field. Looking for a power scoop here, I'd say. Number eight will be on the ball, Gallagher. She goes straight through into the end goal. We saw this coming from a mile away and a great finish there, didn't we? We saw this coming, didn't we, Mike? Come on, we here there from Gallagher, the number eight. She's been threatening all first half. Was the one that got them across for the first touchdown in that first half and first to score in the second half, as we see here. Really, It was a really good set of yards, actually, from Hobsonville Point. Gallagher was able to pick off that momentum, get through, get into the touchdown zone, and great support there from the number eight. Oh, no, not number eight. Who was that support there who scores this touchdown? Try and grab a number, the number 10 there, Sian Strange. Strang. Great work there from Sian. Yeah, no, that was just a great finish. And I think as long as we can sort of see them come to 
get a strong set through their half and really power scoop off the end there. I think Hobsonville will turn over a few more tries, especially with attack looking like that. As we see, our number one threat for Trident does it again. Ball down. Number three, Collier, does it again. She scored them. She set them up. She's given everyone else a try. I think it's about time that she got one of her own. <laughs> and here she is again, making it easy. Really, really good setup there from Matchett. And we often forget about the setup, right? If the ball's not down at the right timing, if it's not down nice and clean, then all the rest of this part can't happen. So great work there from Matchett. And also great work there from the number nine who come in from the link. Ho Hapatan Ngatia, sorry. Great work there from the number nine from Trident. Yeah, no, just a, as you say, Maya, a great setup, and that's what it comes down to. You're only as good uh, and as, as an attacking threat as the person who plants the ball and how efficiently you can get that ball down to the ground and cleanly too. As we see Hobson ball coming from their tap at halfway, the ball in the hands of Taina Cordet goes through into the end goal. She finds Gallagher. A great try. The ball has been grounded as a signal by the referee and another try for Hobson Ball. Collie has been setting everyone up down the other end. She got one. Gallagher has been setting everyone up down this end and now she's got her award. So great work there from the number 12. Tina Kure got through with really, really good pace and vision. Sees her support player in a great space. Got herself into really good space. I wondered if she got the ball down. And thankfully, we don't have slow motion, so that was a touchdown. No, absolutely. And it just shows that coming from the chat at halftime, that Hobsonville must have had between themselves, and I'm sure with the coaches as well, that they wanted to go out there and just probably show a little bit more on attack and just take the most of the opportunities, no matter in what field position they are. And they have truly come out here and put a few great tries on the board. Down by three now, hoping that they can come back a little bit close. As we see the ball go to ground, Trident just pushing it one past too many there. Hobsonville coming out of their own half with a slight mistake there. Trident will be lucky to get that one back, and I'm sure they'll be looking forward to a fresh set of six on their own seven here. This could be a huge momentum swift. I think Hobsonville being the better team in the second half, and they really... Ooh. Ooh. Back in the hands of that number three, Collier. Sometimes I wonder if that lack of experience maybe by some players to they knew they made the touch but if the ref said no that you know you get into the the more elite level the high performance games and they're running in your face telling you they touch them <laughs> yeah <laughs> no absolutely you, you see it quite frequently in in the highest of high levels at the best of the best in the new zealand and australia test matches where you have players seriously trying to convince the ref that in fact they did make that touch yeah um, as we see hobson ball Unfortunate there to concede a try after the roll-on they had and an unfortunate there to give away a penalty. But I'm sure they'll do their absolute best to defend here. A new set of six from just on the other side of halfway from Trident College as they come through the field in this link channel on the right-hand side. Trident straight back into their rhythm. As we see Trini looking to go long. I really liked what I saw there on that turn over there. Gallagher, the number eight for Hobson Full Point, really started to encourage her team, really took that leadership with directing people around where they needed to go for defense, lifting up off the line. Really, really good leadership there from Gallagher as we see her with the ball there. I tell you what, Trident have definitely had more position than, uh, than Hobson Full Point in this game. And so 4-8 probably is a reflection of, uh, of that position swing. Hobson Full Point here need to stay strong. D-hard, repel this incredible attacking force. That is the Trident High School girls team. As Collier comes back on. Working here with Matchett. And go short side, left to right, up and under. Really good D there from Hobson Point. Yes, it was. Just the ball just travelling forward. But done very well because that tip-in is a very uh, underestimated strength that some teams go to look to uh, by going into a big pass out to their winger, throwing that ball back inside to a trailing link and defended very well. I'm pretty sure I've seen Cav do that many a times. Yes, no, he is, he is very skillful in that regard. Highest vertical out of any New Zealand men's player. <laughs> Jumps up, taps it back in and someone comes in and gets a nice try. No, without a doubt. And it's good to see such... Amazing skill from all players across the field here as we see another turnover go Trident's way just on the other side of halfway and I'm sure they'll be looking to get the ball back into Collier's uh, yes, hands in the middle of the field 
as the wingers take a couple drives up the side there to give them a bit of a break, potentially, Meyer? Yes, that's what normally is the case. Get him up there, pass to the middle, Collier do a damage. Just a little lapse of concentration. That's good for Hobsonville Point as they work themselves away. Seems to be a lot of these types of turnovers in this middle area of the field in terms of forward passes. Yeah, we have seen a few of those in this game. I think having such high-level referees that the comms are coming from outside in and potentially also just from the on-field referee, um, being able to see that a lot a clearer picture as we see the dummy and the, the running behind. Great yards. It'll be perfect for our team coming on. And there she is again, number three, Collier. I think she might have gone off and given the responsibilities over. The keys have been handed over <laughs> as a new sub, uh, attack set come in here. Happy and Bryce working together here. Bryce was really good at the setup. That looked like a phantom touch then. Not saying she didn't touch it. Just no, I yes. couldn't see the touch happen. Bryce again setting things up. She's definitely this person I'd want. Happy comes in with the short ball. Going back. What do you think about those sort of um, piggyback penalty? Well, not piggyback in terms of those penalties for something that may not really have affected their ball going to ground. Yeah, I, I guess you feel a little bit hard done by, don't you? Um, when potentially it's on the other side of the field, but um, you, you, you do get called for that penalty. It is definitely a tough penalty and don't seem to understand it, but yeah, I mean... At the end of the day, it's at the rest discretion. Um, and we see Hobsonville coming through the field here. And I'm sure that we will see either the likes of Taylor. Gallagher or Taina Kore. Gallagher with the ball in hand and the strong touch. Play on called. That yeah. combination strikes again. Totally. And I really like to see that. Um, play through rather than go back for the penalty and allow the Trident team to set their defensive line up. Referee Lucas there. Nice early proactive call. Nice and clear call to Gallagher as we see her pick it up. The 12's offside. The link also offside. Referee said play through, which she did. And I think that's a real skill for, you'd think everyone would play through. But in my experience, Riffin, the amount of times I'd say play on and many players would stop waiting for the penalty as yep. to, you know, play on. And I think that's how we can see the game developing so much is the players actually actively listening for that play on call, looking for that play on call. And it, it does open up our game a lot. Um, as we see Trident coming down, hot on attack, great defence there this time through the middle and link channel of, of Hobsonville as we have the strike power of Collier back on again. Biggest set of the game for Hobsonville point. A blink of an eye, they've got back to 5-8. If they can repel this, be the next to score... Then this sort of starts to put a bit of that pressure back on Trident. No, absolutely. Although Collier never looks like she's under pressure. She goes through again. Oh, what's going to happen here? The Ooh. old drop ball back to six. Unfortunately, ball goes to ground, but much better defense on Collier there by the Hobsonville Point players. Match it is again. Yep. The, the dynamic duo. That's illegal. Yeah, well, we talk about the combinations at both ends of the field, and we just... Quite simply, cannot seem to stop this one, can we? <laughs> of Matchett and Collier. Again, that quickie play in the middle there. Early drop, well done. Ball straight back by Matchett. Plain and simple. Step back there by Collier, straight over with the right-hand dive. But dive potentially not needed. That's how much space she had there. But again, a, a very good try nonetheless by Trident. Yeah, you, you could say the defense was disconnected, but they were pretty tight. It was just the quality of her attack and the vision that she has that made it look so easy. No, absolutely. I think we've definitely got to take our hats off there uh, to her extreme diving ability. It is very impressive as we see Hobson Ball get a recount here on the seven-meter line as we will look back to our middles. From one dynamic duo to the other, Gallagher and Tina Kodet. No, absolutely. Uh, quite a performance coming on here from both sides of the field. Just here organising things. Gets the ball back, looking for the option. Ooh. And a great touch there by Korkadi Hudia. Defended very well in that link channel. Another attacking threat, I'm sure, coming up here. Orchestrated by the two in the middle. Pick. Nice defence here. Tarini hasn't made many of the touches, but you can see her marshalling her troops. Getting herself in the position she needs. You can just see her there talking into her other three. Letting her know where she's at. Really, really good set of deep. Nice touch. Now she'll chase out on Gallagher. Oh, that's beautiful work there by Torini. 
Yes, very well done, as you said there, Maya. She found her feet very well. As soon as she got onto that try line, she was stable. She was ready to make that touch. Could have been beaten by footwork, but did very well to find her feet and make that touch. And, I mean, the quality of the attacker that she was defending against just makes that defense even better. She works it away. As we see Collier back on. Just <laughs> just casually beating three or four defenders no, absolutely. at once. Yep, big smile on her face. I'd be smiling too. Nice drive there from Matchett. Collier picks up. Trying to make the defense, make a decision, and really good work there from Tana Kore. Good team defense there. Had Gallagher's back, doing her job correctly, and was able to shut down. And as we've spoken about, a, a common theme from the whole day has been those effort areas and the energy that teams have been bringing to the field. As we see Hobson Bull Point running themselves off their feet but still able to make such great defensive reads and still be powerful in their transition, it is so awesome to see how much courage and mana that these teams are bringing to this competition. Totally. And here there is one half of the duo. We've got... Tana Kore, ooh, was she held? I wonder if the referee's going to call a holding here. Yeah, but a great attacking look there uh, from our number 11, Lynch. A great pick into the end goal. Almost got through, unfortunately, maybe impeded there in the first chopper. But I'm sure we'll look to go back to another duo. Lynch getting in on the action now, as well as our number 7, Suluape, who had the pick from the dummy half, gets the ball back. Great footwork, <laughs> but equally just as good defence there. She's fleet-footed that Sugu up it. Her and Gallagher here now. And as you said, Stella Lynch. She's been a bit quiet in the second half. So it's great to see her back there. Gallagher on the back door. Great defence again in the middle. Collier can do it at both ends. What do you think about the, uh, the sunscreen? Is it sunscreen, you think? Yeah, well, I think... I always see um, Australians wearing it, and I always wonder if you get some funny tan lines after the tournament, but <laughs> they do look the part out there, and they do say that if you look good, you feel good, and you play good, so <laughs> that's the main thing. Unfortunately, just not able to convert there as we close up the end of the game. Uh, 20 seconds remaining as Trident look to work out of their half as the Hooter plays. Final touch coming up. They look to play with it a little bit here. Ball goes to ground, and that is... Koira temu tunga o tēnei kemu o ngā wahine o Trident versus Hobsonville Point. Uh, Waru ki te rima, the score of this game. Uh, Trident taking victors there. A very, very strong and powerful game of these wahine toa. Uh, join us back here shortly. Thank you very much.